cheap, easy, but fancy. So you want to make a fancy dish, but you are broke. I have the perfect recipe for you. Today we are making... Le tartare de chat. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding. This week we are doing a beef tartare. So the ingredients for this are... One tiny egg. Raw beef. <laughs> Black olive, parmigiano, chives, Dijon, chalots, and sambal. So everything starts with a good piece of beef. Here I have an eye of round. Ask your butcher to have a fresh cut. And if you're not sure about it, just trim the excess like this. And you will be sure that you have no bacteria in it. And use this for another recipe. When I cut the, the beef, I like to use uh, the knife to cut it. Some people will uh, take the, the, the tool you use to make uh, ground beef, but um, I don't like the texture of it. And uh, it produces heat. So um, it's better to do it by hand with a sharp knife like this. All right. All right, so when you are done cutting this, put some olive oil on the beef to protect it. This is a uh, rosemary infused olive oil. It smells beautiful. And put this in the fridge while we work on the other ingredient. So we need to finely chop those. A good way to do it is just like this. So the next ingredient you will put in this is sun-dry tomato. Next ingredient will be black olive or green olive depending on your taste. I like the black one. Then I like to add a pickle. And uh, with the caper, what I like to do is just squeeze them with the knife like this. Really is the flavor of it. The fresh herb I like to put in this are chives. Here we go. The next ingredient will be the parmigiano. Reggiano. And the cool thing about a Permigiano, a Reggiano, beside pronouncing it, is if you are lactose intolerant, you can eat this because it has age and all the enzymes add eat the lactose thingy. I'm not a doctor, but uh, I know I know you can e e go for it. Then we need uh, some. Uh, that sauce, I will not pronounce it. Okay, Worcestershire. Some sambal oyek for a little kick. Dijon mustard. This is not very precise. <laughs> oh. Salt. And pepper. And just a little squeeze of lemon. You mix this. All together. For two parts of beef, put one part of the ingredient so you don't have too much of this in the beef. You still taste the beef. Eh? And now for the presentation. Just put this in here. Gonna make a nice square. And a tartare is good with some micros. So we can just put it all around. Just press harder in the middle, like this. And put your egg yolk just here. And this is an option, of course, because we said it was cheap, but you can put some caviar. Et voila. Beautiful. Okay, remember with it is gonna be cheap. So what are we pairing this uh, with? Some water. Hmm. It smells uh, very watery. Very liquid uh, in the mouth. And uh, there's uh, no final. 
All right, so if you want something better than this, my advice is a Brunello, the wine of king and the king of wine. This will pair beautifully with the tartare. And one last trick before we leave. If you let the tartare with the ingredient in the fridge for one or two hours before serving, the flavor will mix all together. It's gonna be much better. I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed this episode. If so, please leave a like on the video, share it with your friend and make this at home, please. Mm. Mm. 